Hello from the City Football Academy, where Manchester City are training ahead of the flight to Munich this afternoon for their Champions League quarter-final second leg against Bayern Munich. Uh, we've just come, the first 15 minutes of these uh, UEFA training sessions uh, are open to members of the press. So we've just seen City, uh, as one of the security guards have said, 15 minutes of rondos, which uh, tends to be what we see, but they are very good, uh, very good rondos. The, the headline news would be a return for Phil Foden out on the grass, training with the rest of his teammates, a fully fit squad. Uh, for Guardiola to choose from ahead of that trip to, to Bayern. Foden not played for City since the 6-0 win against Burnley in the FA Cup. His last action was 12 minutes for England in their win in Italy in the European Championship qualifier. Pulled out of the second game of that international break to have uh, his appendix out and has been out since then. So this is the first time we've seen him on the grass. I believe it's the first time he's actually trained with City since then. It, it may be too soon for a start tomorrow, but obviously a huge boost to Guardiola to, to have him back. And... He, I mean, he is the headline news because he's the only person back and everyone else is out there. A fully fit squad to choose from, a clean bill of health for Guardiola's squad. It's some stage of the season, really, to have a, a full squad to choose from, a, a massive boost for City. The, the games are coming thick and fast at the moment. Obviously, they've got the, the Bayern Munich game on Wednesday night, then an FA Cup semi-final on Saturday. This week is usually a really testing one for City. They've come unstuck in this week. Three seasons in a row now, I think. Uh, a midweek European away, followed by an FA Cup semi-final, which they then go on to lose and we saw it against Liverpool last year when they had that really gruelling tie with Atletico Madrid in Madrid and then made changes for Liverpool game and were 3-0 down at half time and, and lost 3-2 but this it does kind of feel like everything's falling into place for the Blues a bit at the moment the, they've got a commanding lead to take to Munich 3-0 up and you would think that tie is over they've got a very winnable semi-final against Sheffield United and they've now got that full squad to to choose from and, and that is that is massive news for, for Guardiola so, so like I say, they're, they're flying to Munich this afternoon, uh, Bayern tomorrow night. Yeah, you don't want to take anything for granted in this competition. City have known better than anyone how chaotic it can be when you reach the, the quarter-final and semi-final stage. But they were the better team last week. Bayern had their, their moments and their opportunities, but City have got a commanding 3-0 lead. And while they head into it on the back of 10 wins and, and a real feeling of serenity around this place, Bayern are are in chaos is maybe overstretching it but things are things are not going well there was obviously the incident with Leroy Sane and Sadio Mane after the game here last week they only drew 1-1 at home to Hoffenheim in uh, at the weekend Borussia Dortmund drew as well and, and threw away a commanding position in their game so Bayern are still two points clear at the top but it's fair to say things are things are not going particularly well in Munich so City you would expect should should find that tie tomorrow night relatively comfortable and it'd be interesting what sort of team Guardiola picks the respect he pays for this competition. He he re rarely makes too many changes, and you'd think if the changes are going to come this week, they will come against Sheffield United. But he's tended to play strong teams a lot recently in this ten-game winning run, and has been making more substitutions than than usual. I actually, did a piece on the MEN website this morning about how his his substitution strategy has, has changed and made five subs again at the weekend and, and made them all early. And um, the sixth time in those ten games, he's made all five subs and. It does feel like players are getting their rest in early. Erling Haaland coming off at half-time uh, against Leicester, denied the chance of a hat-trick, but 47 goals for the season now. Six, uh, six consecutive games he scored in, and he is, he's is he been on fire for most of the season, really. There was a spell um, maybe six weeks ago where he was his numbers were slightly dipping. I think it was two goals in eight heading to Crystal Palace, but since then he's just been absolutely electric and... He will, he will fancy his chances against uh, against Bayern tomorrow night, I am sure. Um, he is His record is, is just phenomenal. And those goals at the weekend took him to, to 32 in the Premier League as well, equaling, equaling Mo Salah's record. So, like I say, City uh, flying out to, to Munich later. That fully fit squad to, to choose from. Pep Guardiola is, is doing his press conference in Munich this evening. I think it's about 6.15 UK time. So, stay tuned to the Manchester Evening News website. We'll have that for you. If you follow the Manchester City YouTube channel, we'll have coverage of Guardiola's press conference from Munich and everything he's got to say about Foden's return, the game against Bayern and what sort of team he's expected to play. And we'll also have a Talking City podcast out for you later today, looking back at the Leicester game and, and looking ahead to that Bayern Munich game. And what is undoubtedly a, a huge week for City, like I say, the, the treble talk is building here. I know, uh, I know Guardiola won't like to, to hear it, but thankfully he's still on the training pitches while I mention it. And it does feel like things are, things are falling into place for, for City at the moment. Mm -hmm.